Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a what is on my MacBook. So I have the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. I also have a skin on here. So this is a dbrand skin. I can't remember the exact name. I'll have a link in the description box below if you guys are interested. So yeah, I just have this skin on here as well. I also have the 16 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. So storage is usually a problem for me, but I do have external hard drives that I copy everything to, so it's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, we're just gonna be showing everything that's on my MacBook. Okay, so let me just get the screen recording going. Okay, so I think we're going. So um, here you can see I'm gonna be looking down a lot, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera, but the first thing you'll see is my wallpaper on my desktop screen. So um, this is pretty straightforward. I blurred it in Photoshop, so I just got a photo Pinterest and just went to Photoshop, blurred it, and then just added it to my desktop because I just, I prefer like a blurred desktop picture it just doesn't distract much from like what I'm doing on my screen at the moment so that is my background uh, it's pretty plain and simple so commonly what I usually have open on my laptop is either Final Cut and Photoshop or sometimes I do a lot of things on Notion as well when planning like videos and things so I have a video on Notion if you want to go check that I'll have that link in the card up top for you guys to go check out so that's like commonly what I have open on my laptop so I'm just gonna take you guys through finder first just show you guys like how I organize a few things and then we're gonna get to like the launch pad and all the apps and things that I have on here so my main area where I store things is in the documents folder so you'll see my desktop usually has nothing in there every now and again things will pile up on my desktop but like I think like I made a, make a point of it like every week to just clean up my laptop so that's like transferring videos that I've already edited and it's uploaded I transferred to my de my hard drive my SSD and then also I clean up my desktop if there's anything on there I just don't like opening up my laptop and there's like 10,000 files on my desktop because that happens sometimes and it just I don't like it everything is stored in my documents folder so I have a few things here so we have screenshots so that's just when I take screenshots of things like maybe on Safari or something I usually just save it here because some of these things are pointless I just want it for reference so then I just save it here because screenshots also like they get messy sometimes so I just put them in one folder the projects folder here is usually when I'm busy with like a project so say I'm busy editing a video usually I'll save all the files off of my SD card when I'm done filming to this so uh, for instance if I'm done filming this video I'm gonna make a new folder like what is on my Mac and then the Final Cut library, all the thumbnail photos, all the videos, everything will be saved in this folder. I'll finish editing it. And then once everything is done and uploaded, I transfer this folder in the projects folder to my hard drive. So that's usually how I go about like organizing things and keeping space on my laptop. If you're new to Final Cut and you don't know this, because this literally saved my life. There's not, nothing really to do with what's on my, my Mac, but this is like something that helped me so much. If you find like your storage is all of a sudden like 100 gig full, um, usually that's because Final Cut keeps rendering files. So just go to your library and go to the file folder. Let me just show you guys real quick. So you see I have this library here. Just go to file and click on delete generated library files and then select all. Don't worry, it's not gonna delete anything. It's just saving, it's just like deleting the rendered files by deleting the data it doesn't like remove anything or delete anything from your project it just basically saves a lot of storage so you'll see if you do that it's just gonna save you so much storage if you're working on Final Cut if you didn't know that maybe that helped you because it was a pain for me I couldn't figure it out okay moving on we have Photoshop web exercise files so this is actually the same these two are kind of the same thing so I did a Photoshop course on Skillshare I'm still busy with it so everything all the exercise files and things are stored here adobe i have just this folder that like automatically got made when i installed like all the adobe projects so i just have that here wallpaper is just a few wallpapers that i liked that um, are potential wallpapers that i can use so that's i have here 
Kayla's world is where all my things are. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Icons are these little paint swatches that you see the icons of my folders. Um, that's this, it's from, I think it's Julia K. Christ, her pack. So I'll have the icons linked in the description box below. I did not make these, um, she made them. So I'll have her link in the description box below for you guys to go check out. Let's is let's that I found like online. So these I use in my videos. So you'll see like, I have like a color grade on my videos. So that's what that is. That must actually be moved to Kayla's world, but it's just there for now. So here is my main folder which I like do everything in so downloadables is my downloadable content that I have on my website uh, link in the description if you want to go check it out um, so I have a few things here that I just save here then I have editing here which can that just houses stock is like a, a file that I made like a final cut library that I made which houses like my intro Instagram things, so I don't have to make them over and over. I just have them in one place and I can just copy and paste them So I have that music overlays sound effects other videos that I like to put in my videos And then this is like effects that I have intro here is when I made my intro So I just have the graphics for that and this here is just has a few documents that I have for my group that we have like it's a youth group it's not really supposed to be in this folder but i just stored it here um lightroom filters is filters that i've gotten off of the internet or something for lightroom notion is where i store all my icons and things it's in that notion video that i mentioned i have a download thing for like icons and thing on notion on my website if you're going to want to go download that you can see in my notion video how i use these so i have that profile pic is just a few things that I had to make for my YouTube profile pic. This is actually nothing to do with Kayla's world. It's my results from my metric exams. So I just screenshotted it and save it here. Stock is a few things here. So usually these are photos that I would often use over and over again. So usually like using these things in videos, icons I use a lot that I have here, logos that I often use. And also paint swatches that I often use on my thumbnails actually, so I have those here as well. And web here is all of the graphics and things that I made for my website. So all that is all saved in this one folder in my documents folder. So like I said, this is like my main area, my main saving area where I save every file that I have on my laptop. And then just other few things I have here is pictures. So here is just like pictures that I want to save somewhere but don't really need to see often. So I just have a few random folders here of different things that I would like to save. It annoys me when it's just all over the place. Usually I just sort by name. I don't know. It just annoys me when everything's all around. Then movies is nothing. This is just things that Final Cut made, but like I don't really use these. Downloads is just my download folder. So this can get messy really quickly when downloading things. So um, like I said, I make a point of it to like organize my laptop like once a week. So usually I do this maybe every two weeks that I organize this because like after a while of like downloading things, it just piles up so much. So this here has a bunch of photos that I had on my iPhone that I just transferred. Installed is like when I download like apps or I download um, Final Cut effects and text titles, fonts or whatever. I usually put it in this folder once I've already used it or installed it, um, but I don't want to delete it in case I lose like the file or something. So I always have this, move it to this folder here if I've installed it and just still want to keep it. Font is all the fonts that I have installed and things, so and that's there. And YouTube Banner Pack, this is um, a downloadable that I have on my website, so I just downloaded it. I just needed a photo from there, so I just downloaded it and it's just still here, so that is that. Then we have here Creative Cloud, so this is Adobe folders that I don't really touch. Um, also iCloud Drive is here. I actually need to add OneDrive still, but usually OneDrive is also on my laptop. I just, I haven't gone around to adding it, so usually I have that. So that's everything for files. Um, pretty straightforward, I feel like. I just have like everything like I said in the documents folder and move things around however I need to. So now let's get to my doc here. So in my doc are my most used apps um, that I just quickly wanna 
have be able to reference to or something. So here we have Finder, like standard. And then I have Safari here. I have Final Cut, I have Photoshop. Then I have Messages, Photos, FaceTime, Calendar, all the normal apps. Google Chrome, I don't actually need to have down here. I just have it here in case I wanna use it, but I don't use Google Chrome too much. I usually just use Safari. I do have some things that I do on Google Chrome using like some of the, um, I didn't know what to call it, extensions. So Google Chrome is here if I need it. I don't use it too often. I think the only reason it's in my dock is sometimes I forget I have it. So keeping it in my dock just reminds me that I have it and I have to use it sometimes. Then reminders I have here, music, um, app store, standard settings, and then Notion, like I said, I use Notion a ton. So usually Notion is like here on a second desktop screen. But yeah, Notion is usually open in, in my dock and then mail and then here are my downloads. So I can easily quickly look at them and then I have the bin. So all the standard things here in my dock. And now we're gonna go to my launch pad. I don't know if the apps that I have are actually really that interesting. I feel like it's pretty standard apps, like nothing too special or interesting, just like this is what I have. So I'm gonna, gonna go through all of these apps. These are the Mac apps that you get on every single MacBook. Um, the ones that I use probably the most often out of these. Sometimes I like to rent a movie, not too often. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Keynote, I also sometimes use to make green screens and things or things for my videos. So Keynote can sometimes be helpful. Okay, so now for all the apps that I've downloaded. So I have all of the Microsoft Office apps. So I have a Microsoft 365 subscription. So here I have all those apps here. Out of these, I don't really use OneNote or Outlook. Outlook just doesn't want to work for me. I don't know why it, I keep it doesn't want to set up. Um, I still have to figure that out. Word I use sometimes. PowerPoint I like using. OneDrive is like one of my favorite things. I mean, I have like one terabyte of storage on there, so it's really helpful to store things on there. Now for the next page, we have even more things. So here is Notion, like I've already talked about so many times. If you can't tell, I really like it. Uh, Final Cut, QuickTime Player, Text Edit. These are actually pretty standard things here, font book, chess, I've never used in my life, stickies is here, these are like I said pretty standard apps. Then we have Surfshark here, so if you don't know what Surfshark is, it's a VPN, so I don't have it active right now, but if I ever use a VPN, I'm pretty sure I would go back to Surfshark, they're really nice, so that is the VPN that I usually use to maybe like watch Netflix in the US or something. Then I have GoodNotes here, so I have GoodNotes on my iPad as well, so if I just need to reference things that I have on GoodNotes because it syncs across devices, I can just access it quickly here. Then I have Excel, I don't know why Excel is all the way down here, but like I have Excel there. Then M Installer here is something that is from a website that I download Final Cut effects from. So it just has an installer here. So any updates that comes to the files that of the effects of Final Cut and things like that, they all run through this thing. So that's why I have that. Then I have all my Adobe um, products here. So Google Chrome is randomly chilling between them. <laughs> But I have Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and Photoshop. So these are all part of the photography bundle, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted to up my like design game. I don't really know because like I make a lot of graphics and things for my videos. I always had Affinity Photo on my tablet, on my iPad, and I was thinking about installing that again, but I really wanted Photoshop and Lightroom because it's just such a different level. So I finally decided to upgrade to Photoshop, so I have a photography bundle. It's the cheapest one I could get, so that's what I have. And then I have Zoom, so I don't usually use Zoom a lot anymore. I used to use it a lot when I was in school, and we just used it, I think, once for something my dad had to do on Zoom, so we used it like once on my laptop, so I just have it here. Then I have WhatsApp here, um, so it's just a desktop version if I ever want to reply to like messages on my laptop. And then I have Adobe Acrobat Readers. Oh, that is just for reading PDF files. I just find sometimes it looks better and works better than the preview that you default get with your laptop. Then we have Xcode and Playgrounds. They kind of go together. So these, I, I wanna learn how to code more, especially using Swift. So I haven't really 
like played around with it yet i've just like looked here and there to like how it works and downloaded i think like it's a swift handbook type of thing so i still want to learn more about the coding because i did it in high school and i just i want to learn more about it because i spent like three years i think learning coding and that's just like the basics like the bare minimum so i would really i'm really interested in like seeing more things i can make with code because i think coding is such a important thing in today's society like everything surrounds code so yeah i just want to play around with coding more then we have eSword here this is like a bible reading app that i like to use i have pages here that i recently installed just because i needed to open one file using it so we have pages here and this high suit if you have like a huawei phone um it's what how you can like read files off of a huawei phone from a mac you need this app so i did that for my grandma's phone because she needed a few files transferred so i guess that's that i don't really have anything else to show you what else is there i don't think there is much i feel like my laptop is pretty straightforward and simple i don't have too many apps going on but yeah my favorite app on this laptop um it has to be between final cut and photoshop i can't really decide between the two because they're each of one has like amazing components so probably my favorite out of all the things i have on here so yeah that's all i have for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting everything that is on my mac i always love watching these type of videos i think it's just interesting to see like what other people are using and other apps so that is what i have i hope this video could give you guys some like insight into like what i do and what i use uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions for me and I would love for you guys to subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really does help. I'm trying to reach 50k. So definitely subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button on the screen. Click on my video to my previously uploaded video. And click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.